Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today isn't a studio tour per se, but instead we are showing off just a bit the main chunk of our Lego bricks and how we like to organize them when putting together our custom build. So normally in the last, uh, I don't know, maybe six months or so, we've been trying to get at least one custom build out uh, once a week for the web store. That's www.brickvault.toys, linked in the description below for some awesome custom building instructions. That's not what this video is actually about, but instead just a little bit of our work area. And this is by far the most important section of our Lego studio at the moment, which is our brick drawers. And you'll notice, because I've watched quite a few of these videos now on YouTube, the brick organization can vary quite a bit between users and builders. And it is kind of just interesting to see how people's process works uh, and what works for them, because there is no right answer, there's no wrong answer. It's all just about what kinds of priorities you take with the bricks and what's the most useful for you. So anyways, yeah, well, let's get into the organization. And before we jump into the cool, or sorry, the, the specifics, I should say, I wanna show you this one cool thing first, and that is the motion sensor. Does it work? Yeah, there we go. That's always kind of cool. We rigged this not too long ago. And then you get a nice good view of whatever you need. And the, the light is directional, so you can go all the way down on any of these builds. It doesn't look like there's light, and then when you open it up, you can see everything. And it goes even pretty much all the way to the bottom. So that's pretty awesome. Anyways, let's get into the specifics of, well, how we organize our bricks. Now, maybe the first major thing to point out when we talk about our personal organization here in the studio is the fact that we do not organize by color. We organize by part type and we try to get pretty darn specific when it comes to part type. And there is a reason why we do this type of organization compared to color coding and maybe color and size coding, which is I think probably the more common approach for many custom builders out there. And the reason why we usually like to, or not usually, the reason why we do like to approach just by part type, is because it actually makes it a lot easier to search for pieces, A, when we're trying to build a design, and it also helps us order a lot faster when we are working on a digital design or ordering parts for somebody else's digital design. So we know exactly what kind of piece we're looking for. And uh, often when builds get like really technical, <laughs> um, it makes sense to look for the exact kind of piece instead of the exact color. Because usually our lots are low enough, the quantity of these, of these lots are low enough where I can open up a drawer pretty quick and see if I have that certain color in the certain piece or enough of a certain color. And it just becomes easier to search by the type of piece instead of the color. Now we do do a little bit of color organization, but only when it comes to the labeling on the outside. So you can see that the uh, modified plates, as well as some of the bars and some of the other greebling details, I should say, a lot of that stuff, it's all done in light bluish gray. So from a distance, especially if I'm in another part of the room, I can usually quickly find the general area of what I'm looking for. And that rule is applied to everything else. So we have bricks all done in blue for the most part. Now there is actually, I lied, there's a little bit of color coding here. We have so many one by twos in these colors that we have a drawer dedicated to just like, you know, the white to black shades. We did it for one by fours. There's a few other drawers that are kind of like that, but in general, Technic here, Technic bricks are done mostly in black. 
you can see a lot of the modified bricks with studs on the sides, including brackets and stuff. Most of that's done in red. And the rule can be applied, you know, somewhat loosely to other areas of uh, certain part types. So there is a little bit of color organization, but only so we can see from afar what types we're looking for. Now, I must admit, I was pretty tempted to organize this whole area of the room just by BrickLink part numbers. So when I look through a BrickLink list, I could just go through each drawer, uh, you know, numerically the way it's organized on the online system. So that would have, you know, made part searching for wanted lists a little bit faster, I think. But ultimately, um, it kind of moves away from some of the looseness that we decided to carry over, especially like an area like this. Uh, minifigure pieces, but we also have, um, you know, ranged weapons as opposed to melee weapons and stuff like that. Uh, some of the loose number organization, especially in online systems like BrickLink, uh, they wouldn't be as conducive. I would end up having to split certain drawers apart from each other or certain pieces out of those drawers, where mentally uh, I would sort of prefer to keep uh, certain types of pieces together. But ultimately this does make searching through for different types of wanted lists much, 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 much faster. So that has made our lives a whole heck of a lot easier in the long run. And actually it's kind of fun because we're not totally done with uh, setting up the labels here. So maybe I can retroactively answer a couple of questions. You can see that the edges of the drawers here have been scored which help the glue. That's right, we did actually glue some plate pieces uh, to the edge of here, and that's what allows the certain plates to attach themselves. Now, because we're looking at, you know, one by one plates, and then it just moves down and down and down, I don't even know, my brother's been doing this part, I don't even know if he's gonna finish this part, but that's the general idea. This has been scored, so the glue adheses, adheses, is that a word? Uh, the adhesive grips the plastic a little bit better. So anyways, it's not totally finished yet, but it's certainly finished enough in order for you guys to get an idea of what we've been up to recently. Now I'd very much like to show you guys the rest of what this build room looks like, but if I pan over to the right, even by an inch, you'll start to see uh, tons of models that we haven't finished yet that are on the lineup for release in the web store, including the biggest model we've ever built ever, at least in terms of parts. And that's just out of the shot right now. And uh, so yeah, I can't actually show you guys, um, but I can show you another room because some of you might be saying, oh, you know what? I thought Brick Vault would have more bricks in their vault. And that is true. We have a totally different section of the area that is completely dedicated to sourcing in case we want to maybe go hunting for certain pieces or break down certain sets to add to the area that we're looking at here. So I think it's going to sound a little bit different in this room, but you'll see all of these cases. Some are full of bricks that have already been pre-organized or sets that are pre-broken down but this is a huge, huge, huge amount of bricks. Way, way, way more bricks just in terms of quantity compared to what we were looking at in the other room. And a lot of these bins are extremely, extremely heavy. Uh, we definitely worked up a sweat moving these around, uh, well, this new studio area. So eventually these are all going to get broken down and reorganized into custom building organization little plots like we saw in the other room. But there you go. The, uh, the brick vault certainly is still full, quite full of bricks. It's just the majority of them looks something like this. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this brick organization video. Not really a studio tour. It's not quite there yet. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of fun to give you guys an update. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.
at Brick Vault. 